What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is known as the Bigify, it's a pretty genius piece of technology that recently came out and uh, to tell the truth it's not getting as much hype as I may have expected, it's actually really cool, basically you can run Android on your TV screen. Android is something that we see all over the place, whether it's your phone, your tablet, your watch, and now of course your TV. So I thought I'd go over the actual stick itself and then I thought I'd give you a more or less tour of what this looks like on your television, how it's used, what you use to use it, and all that good stuff in this full in-depth review on the good old Bigify. Now I will mention this, your TV must have an HDMI input, which every single TV nowadays does, and you need to have either an iOS or Android device. That's really convenient since, it, since it's running Android, you'd expect that it would only work on Android, but no, they have an application for iOS as well. What the Bigify reminds reminds me of is a flash drive, and that's because it just looks like a flash drive. You take off the cap, you simply insert the HDMI into your TV, and just like that, it will start running. But there is also a little tiny micro USB area where you do need to plug this into a wall socket. This thing gets pretty hot when it's running, and it is running the Android, of course, and so when you go ahead and plug it into HDMI, HDMI can't necessarily power this. So of course you go ahead and simply connect the micro SD to maybe a wall adapter or maybe your laptop or whatever you would like in order to charge this thing up. The Bigify might be small, but the name implies some irony. So of course, it's tiny, and yet it packs a lot into it. Not only does this thing contain Android, but along the sides, you get some of the things that a phone might come with. For instance, this thing only comes with 2GB. However, you can upgrade up to 32, 64, 128 gigabytes via microSD card that you can go ahead and just insert into that little slot you see right there. Pretty nice, and I went ahead and plugged in my 32 gig uh, SD card, which has a lot of my apps on it, and uh, I went and automatically all the apps were added onto the good old Android interface. One last cool thing that I noticed on the back side, opposite to the HDMI uh, area, is of course a USB area. I'm not sure why exactly this is there, but I'm guessing it could have quite a few uses. Maybe you can go ahead and plug in a flat flash drive into this, or maybe you would like to connect a wireless mouse and or a keyboard to this. Maybe that could work as well. I'm going to go ahead and play around with that a little bit more. However, for now, the USB thing is there if you guys want to plug in USB devices. Setting this up is pretty straightforward, so one, the number one thing you want to do is of course plug this into the HDMI input that comes with your television, and then of course you want to go ahead and plug this into a wall adapter using that micro SD input, or micro USB input, as I said about 20 times. Then, you want to turn on your TV, switch it to HDMI 1, 2, 3, or 4 depending on how many inputs you have, and you should see a screen that looks similar to this. After the Bigify has loaded everything, which does take a little bit of time, you can go ahead and use your smartphone and disconnect your smartphone from Wi-Fi. This is crucial. Then make sure you have the Bigify application. If not, there is a QR code that shows up on your TV screen. And with your device connected to Wi-Fi, feel free to scan that QR code and it will lead you directly to the app. But you know what the simpler solution is? Simply go on the Google Play Store or iOS App Store and uh, go ahead and type in Bigify and you should see their application. Download it and you should be given written instructions as to how you go ahead and set this up. Now your smartphone is pretty crucial since it, it's basically the Bigify itself kind of works like a little mini router. You actually use your smartphone to go ahead and connect the Bigify to Wi-Fi, and without Wi-Fi, you can't do much on Android. And you also use your smartphone to actually control the Bigify. So it basically goes, you maybe swipe up on your phone, that swipe up the, it goes to your router, and from your router, it goes directly to the Bigify and acts as a command. The app itself is actually very simple. Um, there's actually basically two options that uh, the settings itself you can mess around with, but the ma two main options that you guys will be using on a daily basis is of course the touch and the mouse control. The mouse actually puts a mouse directly onto the screen as you guys can see, and the touch control actually makes it as if you are touching the TV like with your finger, so it's like a mini touch screen. The problem with the touch screen is of course that it's kind of hard to tell where exactly you're placing your finger, so if you're trying to click on an app, your phone might be maybe 4 inches long while the TV might be 42 inches, and then you're like, wait a minute, where is this app supposed to be? So it's kind of confusing and a little bit tougher, so the mouse actually works out a lot better. If you connect maybe a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to this, you are basically perfect. You guys can do whatever you need as fast as possible. So what I'm trying to get at is it takes a little bit of getting used to, but eventually you do figure it out. Okay, so this is what the actual setup looks like once you go ahead and start this up for the first time. I'm going to try to speed through it and uh, show you guys what Android looks like on a TV.
And there you go, just like that, I am all set up. Look at this, the home screen, we got Temporon over there, there's my application, I'm actually using the phone itself to go ahead and control it, and uh, let me go ahead and adjust a few things, there you go, I'm using the mouse from my uh, phone, and let's go ahead and uh, click on Temporon and see if it uh, launches. The mouse, it's, uh, the touchscreen thing is a little bit hard to use, but whatever, I'm getting used to it slowly but steadily. There you go, let's go ahead and play Temporon for about two seconds. Alright, so here it comes, loads nice and fast. And uh, now I'm just playing it in speed motion. All right, so I went ahead and played. I think I died. And uh, there you go. So that's Temple Run for you guys. Let's see what else we can do on this awesome device. Here's of course the old YouTube application. At this point in time in the video, I did not actually update at the application and you can actually go ahead and update apps directly in the Google Play Store. But this is what YouTube looked like before I went ahead and updated. It looks pretty cool. Let's go ahead and search up Ion Tech Central. And just like that, all my videos pop up, and my channel doesn't really pop up, but you can probably access that as well. Let's go ahead and click on a video, and so yes, you can officially see YouTube on your TV now without having a smart TV or anything expensive like that. This isn't too expensive, and uh, it's better than paying for like a $600 TV. So another important thing to check out is of course the Google Play Store, and so I went on it, and this is what it looks like. It looks exactly like it would on a typical Android tablet, and yes, you can actually go ahead and install awesome games like Clash of Clans. And so I decided to get creative, so we're going to go ahead and play Clash of Clans on here. So while that's installing, we can go ahead and check out the multitasker, and here it is. It looks exactly like Android once again. Pretty cool, you simply swipe down on your device using the touchscreen mode, and the application will disappear. You can rearrange applications on your home screen, you can move them to wherever you want. You can actually go ahead and install launchers, so I'm going to go ahead and install Nova Launcher now. So I went ahead and did that, I also installed Dash Clock Widget, so I'm actually on Nova Launcher right now with the good old Dash Clock Widget as my home screen, how awesome is that? Go ahead and click Create, and uh, there you go. Okay, so Clash of Clans finally installed, and let's go ahead and take a look and see if this actually loads up. Um, two things that I noticed that I really, really love is the fact that this thing's internet isn't as slow as I expected, it's actually just as fast as you would get on your phone. Another thing I noticed is the speed of this thing. Games and applications load up as fast as they would on your average tablet, and everything is just nice and fluid just like this go out. let's take a look at how fast i'm scrolling through everything multi-touch and all that good stuff does take a little bit of uh, time to get used to since it's a big screen versus a tiny little screen in your hand but eventually you do get used to it although this is a genius piece of technology it does have its downsides and i'm guessing they're going to improve upon all of these things in the near future but for now let's go ahead and talk about some of these issues that I've gone into. So the number one thing is of course, when you go ahead and first turn this on, it takes a pretty ridiculous amount of time to actually turn on uh, since it goes and restarts itself and it basically turns on Android as if you're restarting your phone or something. And it takes maybe a minute to two minutes and that's kind of long if you ask me, but hopefully they can go ahead and figure that out and make it maybe five seconds, 10 seconds, something along those lines. Touch controls are also another thing they should definitely improve on, something's really some things are really just tough and it's really annoying to constantly switch between mouse and touchscreen mode on your iDevice or whichever device you are using to control the Bigify, so I hope they improve upon that in the future as well. Finally, they should go ahead and update this to the latest version of Android so everything looks material design and all that other good stuff. I'm sure they're going to go ahead and do that and I like the fact that you're able to do that directly from the Android settings. I really am sorry guys that I do not have one of those cool TV recording gamer things that everyone seems to have to record their TV screen, however I did my best to use a DSLR to record a TV screen. It still looks half decent and I hope you guys sort of get the point. I thought I'd finish this video off with a good game of Temple Run. Alright, let's see how easy it is or hard it is to play Temple Run on this. It's kind of like playing on your iDevice, but with a full HD screen, you will not believe how vivid everything looks and how great everything looks. And if, if your my TV is pretty old, and if you guys have one of those awesome televisions that are brand new smart TVs or whatever, this is going to look great. And uh, you guys can take this to such an awesome level, customize everything, and uh, Skype on your TV, and I'm not sure how far they're going to take it. I hope they implement using the mic on your uh, iPhone or whatever and the camera directly to the TV so everything gets live streamed over there uh, to the television so that would be pretty nice that way you could Skype people you can also go ahead and text and Facebook on the big screen as well I'm not sure why you would ever do that but if you have a mini TV in your room and simply want to run Android because of that it's also a great piece of tech Finally, you might want to get your kids this. It's a pretty cool piece of tech for gaming, and this is something that could get your, if your kids come, uh, kids' friends come over, they can of course have a pretty nice amount of fun. 
Until of course they go ahead and die on Temple Run and then they rage, but it's worth it. Overall, I give this product a solid 9 out of 10. It's really amazing technology, and I wish more companies would be a little bit more innovative like this. I haven't tested out a product this cool in a very long time, and I'm really looking forward to doing more reviews from Bigify in case they decide to come out with new pieces of tech. Maybe they'll make one for iOS. Apple will never let you do that, but you never know these days. If you guys liked this video and thought it was well done, feel free to go ahead and leave a like. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter for the latest updates on just about everything. I tweet a lot nowadays. And finally, leave a comment below telling me what you guys think of this and will you be getting one in case you guys are interested. Thank you for watching, and as always, this is going to be me, locking off.